Good morning, I'm Kirby. I'm Dana. I'm KJF Travel Adventures, and we're on day five of our uh, Carnival Mardi Gras Christmas cruise. Yes. Yes. Um, and we're in Amber Cove today. So um, we were in Amber Cove last year um, for Christmas, and not a lot of stuff was open at the port. So it'll be interesting to see um, what's open now as ships are coming back full. So uh, first, we're going to go get some breakfast burritos. Let's go. out last year when you were here in this little middle section and now you have to pay for it with the little seats in there. things open now when we came last year like literally a year ago almost to the day almost nothing was open in this place. Heading back to the boat from Amber Cove. Amber Cove is a nice, free, sort of pool day if you want it to be. Mm -hmm. They have a bunch of excursions you can do if you don't want to just hang out by the pool. Um, there's a swim up bar. That wasn't open last year when we were here. Lots more stuff is open in the port area now than last year. And uh, we have a boat scheduled for this afternoon, so. And the, the pier is longish. I measured it on the way out it's like 0.25 miles from the ship to like the duty free shop that starts the port they do have free um sort of bike what are they called pedicabs Petty Petty um that you can take they're free they just work for tips so if walking is not your forte you can certainly do that also, look how ridiculously large this boat is that's insane also jurassic park part of jurassic park was filmed here so I'm wearing my dinosaur bathing suit shorts. All right, so Amber Cove. We said I said a few things as we were walking around. Um, is you can just make a nice free yeah pool day. You didn't like the we, pool's really nice. the pool's nice. There's they tons had, of seating. Yeah. We have over six thousand people on our ship, and we left the pool around eleven thirty, mm -hmm. and there it really wasn't packed. No, I think a lot of people do excursions because when I we I was exploring the port right when we got off and that like excursion meeting zone was mayhem. 
So I feel like a lot of people did an excursion, which meant the pool was was quiet. Um, there's a nice, so they have like things you can rent. They, they have umbrellas you can rent that you, you thought were 22. Did you hear? I believe or they're 22, but somewhere. They, they have a list of things that you can rent mm -hmm. and they are not prices by them. I'm so I'm guessing depending on um, time of year or how busy. how busy things are, they're going to yeah. charge a different price. Yeah, I heard. But today, mm -hmm. I believe the umbrellas were 22. They had Wi-Fi. I heard a server say it was $10, $10 for, for the, the code. Day. So all sorts of things. They have like water sports you can rent. So many different things. Or you can sit by the pool for absolutely free. Mm -hmm. That's what we did. Yep. And then we had a drink at the bar. So yep. And then we came back the and cocktails were or the daiquiris were nine dollars. Yeah. And Kirby paid five dollars for her beer. Yeah. So cheaper than the ship. Yep. Cheaper than way cheaper than where we live in Orlando. <laughs> we can yeah. we can drink on the cruise ship cheaper than where we live in yep, Orlando. That's true. But yeah. Yes, yeah, so it was a nice day. Um one thing to think about i don't i have not seen any designated smoking areas out there by the pool so it is very open. sort of the luck of the draw i've seen people smoking and we've just been kind of lucky that it's not been downwind but yeah if you're very sensitive to that right unlike the cruise ship where there are designated places and none of them are by the pool right this was just sort of it was kind of the luck of that so but it was a great day and then we're uh and coming back in for lunch mm -hmm. Time. All right, it's officially time for bowl, y'all. Dana and Sarah are going first because the car seats two people, and I'm going to see if I can catch a video of them going by. Did boat, y'all. So as of right now, and it's been like that since it since it opened. It's fifteen dollars mm -hmm. per person, and you get two you sort of loops, two loops. around. And so I, it's I like think that's seconds. a little steep, but we did it. Obviously, you're going to do it once. I mean, I feel like we needed to do it once. I don't know if we came back on Mardi Gras if we would do it again. You control the speed of it. There's like a turbo button, so you can go faster. Like it was very fun. It was, but fifteen dollars for thirty seconds. I don't, yeah. I think the scariest part was they make you get on a scale before <laughs> you go on the ride because you have to be less than 300 pounds. Yes. So you get on the scale and if the light turns on, then you can't go. Um, <laughs> you can't bring any loose articles, no yeah. phones. I couldn't wear my glasses. You, you can wear glasses if there's a strap. You have a strap in the back. So, and you have to have closed toed shoes. Yes. So. Can't be wet. Other things can't be wet. They can't come right from the pool. Yeah. But it was fun. It was fun. Yeah, and I think we're heading to Serenity to just relax. We've been relaxing. Uh, we mixed it up. So instead of me going on Serenity and relaxing and then coming back to the room to nap, I just napped on Serenity. So, you know, just, you got to vary the risk. I really, really want to find um, some of those egg, the half egg, egg, egg half things. egg chairs. Yeah, they're really comfortable. We should get some. Yeah. One um, for me, one for you, one for Sarah, one for the cats. Right. And then we'll never have any because all of our cats will be in all of them. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're doing something a little different for dinner. We're going to go to Guy's Pig and Anchor, um, which hopefully, because it's not you can't one. can't check in in advance. They just kind of show up, so we hope it's not crazy. But I, we're ninety-eight percent sure that it's included. Yes, that there's a couple extra options that are upcharge, but most of the stuff is included. And this is the one at the brewery. Correct. They have one up on the Lido deck. I think. Yeah, which we've not seen open. That's um, for lunch. Yeah. 
But this is the one that's at the brewery. Yeah, so, and so uh, since we're casual, there's no sock today. Sorry, y'all. I have flip flops on. Sandals of the day. All right, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Guys, pick an anchor. It was delicious. Mm. And it's um, included. It, yes, almost everything on the menu was included. The ribs were a slight upcharge, and there was one dessert that was mm -hmm. an upcharge, but everything else was included. The only difference between doing dinner there versus doing like the your time dining is you don't check in advance. You just show up and ask for a table, and the hostess seats you. Mm -hmm. But it was really good. That chicken, no, uh, the chicken. cheddar sausage. It was chicken cheddar. Oh, so good. The mac and cheese. I don't usually like mac and cheese. You she know? likes Velveeta mac and cheese. Like I'm that's like, her level of mac and cheese. Yeah. It was so good. Yeah. The only it's like uh, I think there's jalapeno in it. Yeah, I think it's the same cheddar cheese sort of sauce that was in the sausage. The only thing that was like meh was the beans. They were just boring. Yeah, they were boring. When everything else was like so flavorful and good, they were just boring sort of barbecue baked beans. To be fair, my baked beans are way better than almost yeah, anyone's. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And then um, <laughs> Sarah didn't like the banana pie, but I did. So, and Mine the mud better. pie was was really good. It's really chocolatey. Yeah, and then we had a chill evening. We uh, listened to some live music at Brass Magnolia. We had a drink. <clears throat> at played Bass. Uno. We played no. We nope. played Phase Ten. We played Phase Ten. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we're in Grand Turk early tomorrow, so we're calling it sort of a chill early night. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you tomorrow. Anything else for today? No? I'm Kirby. I'm Dana. I'm KJF Travel Adventures. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you get notified when all of our videos drop. Bye. Bye.